Hello everyone, welcome to Proven the Solution, given this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 2 plus the square root of x, this is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Now, before you dive into the solution, if it is your first time you come across my videos, kindly like and subscribe, so that you can get notified when I upload the videos. Now, we have the square root of 2 plus square root of x, this is equal to 2. Okay, so the first thing to do here, let's make square root of 2 the subject of the formula so that we take square root of x on the right hand side. So we'll have 2 subtract square root of x. Now the next step is to square both signs. Let's square both signs so that now square root of 2 squared we eliminate the square root sign. So we'll have 2, this is equal to. Now this is 2 subtract square root of x squared which is in the form of a subtract b raised to power 2, which we can express as a squared subtract 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so this is the algebraic identity. So applying this identity, we will have 2 is equal to, now this is 2 squared subtract 2 times 2 times 2 times square root of x plus square root of x squared. Now from here you will have 2, this is equal to 2 squared, and this is 4, subtract. Now this is the same thing as 4, square root of x plus, we simplify here, so this is x. Now the next phase here, let's take negative square root of, negative 4 square root of x on the left hand side. So we'll have 4 square root of x, we'll have 4 square root of x, this is equal to, now we'll have 4 plus x, we take 2 on the right hand side, so subtract 2, so that now we'll have 4 square root of x, this is equal to, this is 4 subtract 2, basically this is the same thing as 2 plus x, or rather we can write this as 4 square root of x, this is equal to x plus 2. So the next phase here, let's again square both signs. Let's square both signs. So that now we'll have 4 squared, which is 16, multiplying by square root of x squared. We simplify to eliminate the square root side. So multiplying by x, this is equal to, now we have x plus 2 squared. This is in the form of a plus b squared, which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now applying this algebraic identity, we'll have 16x. This is actually equal to x squared plus we'll have 2 squared, which is actually 4 plus 4x. Now from here, we'll have x squared. This is the same thing as x squared plus 4 plus 4x, we take 16x on the right hand side, so this is subtract 16x, so that now we'll, this, this one is equal to 0. So let's proceed to solve for the value of x here. Now here we have x squared plus 4 plus 4x minus 16x, which is x squared, okay, so plus 4, now 4x minus 16x, this is subtract 12x, this is equal to 0. Now let's rearrange this as a quadratic equation, which is x squared subtract 12x plus 4, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0, with a equal to 1, with b equal to negative 12, and c equal to 4, okay? So now, so for the value of x, we introduce the, let's introduce the quadratic formula, which is actually negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, okay? Now, let's substitute the value of a, b, and c. So we'll have negative, negative, b which is negative 12 plus or minus 
the square root of b squared, which is negative 12, squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is equal to 4, divided by 2 times 1. So this is actually equal to negative times negative 2, this is 12, plus or minus the square root of 12, negative 12 squared, this is 144, subtract, this is 4 times 4, which is basically equal to 16, divided by 2. Now from here, we'll have 12 plus or minus. Now here we'll have 144 subtract 16. This is the same thing as 128. So this is divided by 2. So here we'll have 12 plus or minus. We can express square root of 128 basically as, this is the same thing as 64 multiplying by 2 divided by 2. So here, so here we'll have 12 plus or minus the square root of 64, which is actually equal to 8, multiplied by square root of 2, divided by 2. Now from here, we can factor out 2, okay, so that here we'll have 6 plus or minus 4 square root of 2, divided by 2. Now, let's simplify here, let's simplify here, so, so that we'll have 6 plus or minus 4 square root of 2. So basically here, we have two values of x. That is x1 is equal to 6 plus 4 square root of 2. And we have x2, which is basically equal to 6 subtract 4 square root of 2. Now these are two values of x. Now let's actually verify if these two values of x actually satisfies the equation by following these steps. Well, let's verify that x1, which is 6 plus 4 square root of 2, and x2, which is 6 minus 4 square root of 2, actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that square root of 2 plus square root of x, this is supposed to give us a value of 2. Now, substituting the value of x, let's substitute x1, we'll have square root of 2 plus now, x1 is equal to 6 plus 4 square root of 2. This should give us a value of 2. So let's check if this is true. Now, here we'll have square root of 2 plus, we can express 6 as 4 plus 2 plus, now 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2 square root of 2. Okay, so let's proceed again. Here we'll have square root of 2, okay. Here we'll have square root of 2 plus, now, into the, the square root of 4 can be expressed as 2 squared plus, now, let's express 2, let's basically express 2 as the square root of 2 raised to power 2. This is basically, if you have a, this can be expressed as the square root of a squared, okay? So, if you, if you just simplify here, we'll have a. So, this is the same thing as, so applying this, we'll have 2 squared plus the square root of 2 to power 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 square root of 2. Now let's proceed here. We'll have square root of 2 plus, now this is the square root of 2 squared plus square root of 2 squared plus 2 times square root of 2. This is actually in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, which we can basically express as a plus b squared. So let's apply this algebraic identity so that we'll have 2 plus square root of 2 squared. Now we can express this as 2 plus square root of 2 squared. This should give us a value of 2. Okay. So we have square root of 2 plus. Now we are saying that here we have 2 plus square root of 2 squared. This is equal to 2. So let's eliminate the square root sign so that we'll have basically square root of 2 plus 2 plus square root of 2. This should give us a value of 2. Now, if you see here, we have square root of 2 plus square root of 2. This is basically equal to 2 square root of 2. Now, this is equal to, now we take 2 on the other side, we'll have 2 subtract 2. 
So that means that 2 square root of 2, this is not equal to 0, right? And that shows that x1 does not satisfy the condition, okay? 2 square root of 2 is not equal to 0, and that shows that x1 does not satisfy the equation. So let's check x2. Let's verify x2. Now x2 is 6 subtract 4 square root of 2. Let's check this. Now we have the square root of 2 plus the square root of x2, which is 6 subtract 4 square root of 2. This should give us a value of 2. Let's check if this is true. Now this is square root of 2 plus... Now we can express 6 as 4 plus 2 subtract... 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, okay? Square root of 2. This should give us a value of 2. Now let's proceed again. So here we will have square root of 2 plus... Now we can express 4 as 2 to power 2 plus... Now 2 can be expressed as... Basically this can be expressed as square root of 2 to power 2. Subtract 2 multiplying by 2. Square root of 2. This is equal to 2. Now, again, this is, in, this is actually in the form of a squared plus b squared subtract 2ab, which we can ex express as a minus b squared. So let's apply this property. So that now we'll have square root of 2 plus square root of, we'll have 2 subtract square root of 2 squared this should give us a value of 2 so let's simplify here so that we'll have square root of 2 plus 2 subtract square root of 2 this should give us a value of 2 now square root of 2 and square root of 2 simplifies so that 2 is equal to 2 and that shows that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and that basically shows that x2 which is 6 subtract 4 square root of 2 actually satisfies the equation. So basically, x1, this is an extraneous. This is an this is an extraneous root. Okay. So we have only one solution. We have only one solution, which is x2. So thank you for watching. Kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly subscribe, my good people.